Hello everybody, it's Admin checking in. So it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube tutorial for you guys, so I just had some time and I'm gonna do a quick and simple one for you guys right now. Um, today's tutorial is gonna be about baking your face and setting it. The main reason why you want to bake your face is because when you're going to work, you go out in the sun, you sweat all day, you do all these activities, and your makeup tends to like move around and start to smudge, and you're gonna get a lot of creases when you smile and laugh throughout the whole day. So this technique will show you how to um, keep your makeup in place and make sure that it's set and it does not move at all. So let's start by using this RCMA translucent powder. This powder you can get at beautylish.com. It's very, there's no color so don't worry about it like changing the color of your foundation or whatnot. So I'm gonna get a lot of it. Pour it into this cap right here and then get a brush. You can use a uh, beauty um, blender, but I like to use a brush because the beauty blender just, you know, collects a lot of dust and I don't know, I'm just more comfortable with this. So you're going to get a lot of it, tap it off, and then put it under the areas or in the areas where you want to bake your face. So I'm going to put it underneath my eye, right there, and you're going to put like a lot of it. So this technique is used especially when you're performing for performers, musicians. They like to do this to make sure that when they're under the light and performing in dancing, you sweat a lot. So you want to make sure your makeup sits set and it stays still. It does not move anywhere. It does not want to bother you so you don't have to touch up. So put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And put it on your chin so it stands out. These are the focal points. You can put it anywhere else you want to make it stand out and set, but you know, other places like your jaw, it's not necessary. Um, more like your forehead, just a little bit on there, but more likely underneath your eyes so it doesn't crack. So there you have it. And then a little bit on your nose, especially the tip that usually starts to oil up real quick, real good. So there, and right down the middle line. That'll also help you highlight your nose and stand out. So once you put on the translucent powder on the areas you want to set, um, you're gonna wanna wait like 15, 30 minutes, or you can do this whole process before the shadows and the lipstick, but after the foundation. And then uh, either way, it's up to you, whatever is comfortable easier. You can also wait around, do your hair, and then come back and, and check and see if your face is already done baking. <laughs> okay, so right now it's already been like 15 minutes. I'm going to just brush off the excess that was on my face. So make sure you just brush it off. It's translucent powder, so no color. Make sure that you get all that white powder off. Just slightly brush it off, your chin and everything like that. Missing any areas, get in there real close. All right, so it's like super white right now because it's, it's translucent powder, but don't worry about it. This will set and then uh, you can start locking your face up together. Okay. So just brush off the excess powder. This will keep your makeup solid all day. Like it won't even give you like cracks here underneath or wrinkles whenever you smile or like make all that funky face when you're out. Um, once you've done that, you can start blending your face, getting some color in there and blush it up however you like. Add a little color to bring focus to your T-zone. Okay, so that's how you bake your face. Right now it's set to go. You can go out into the sun, you can go jogging, go swimming. <laughs> I don't know about swimming, but <laughs> you can go out there and do whatever you want without having to worry that your makeup's going to melt and uh, start smudging and all that 
yucky stuff. So I hope this was very useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you so much. Any questions, please let me know below or inbox me at unmin at unmin.net. Thank you so much.